Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Fred Ford, also known as Daily Fred, author of the Our Daily Fred newsletter. And this is the first in a series of videos I plan to post on YouTube to document my journey to think and grow thin. How's that for a concept? This first video is just an introductory video. I just want to let you know how I came to this uh, point in my life and what my motivation is with this program that I'm developing. Earlier this year, in early March, I stepped on the scale to see that I weighed 350 pounds. Uh, and the thought that struck me at that time was, I'm as close to 300 pounds as I am 400. And that was a very unnerving and unsettling fact. And I had to... Uh, I had to confront that and, and do something about it. Most of my adult life, I've been over 300 pounds. And uh, I decided when I was going to get to my ideal weight, I made a firm decision to do it. And I also decided that I was going to make the necessary lifestyle changes to bring about that result. I had to do things differently than I'd done in the past. Because every other attempt I've made at losing weight was an outside-in strategy. I'd join the gym or I'd start a diet or... Uh, you know, it was never an inside-out strategy. And when I made the decision to get to my ideal weight, which I think is 185 pounds, I was at 350 at the time, um, I started to journal to get to the core of what it was that I was doing wrong. What did I have to do differently? And I was reminded of an incident when I trained to become a life success consultant back in 2008. I was training with Bob Proctor's uh, life success company. And during that training, we had an opportunity to meet privately with three or four other consultants and Bob and ask him specific questions. And the question I asked Bob was, what do I have to do to be a superstar in this industry, meaning the motivational speaking life coaching industry? And Bob Proctor pointed to his temple and said, the first thing you have to do is become a superstar here. And that follows the think and grow rich model where you get a specific goal in the case of think and grow rich it's a monetary goal and you write it down and you give it a delivery date or a due date and then you read that goal first thing in the morning the last thing in the night and you think about it uh as often as you can you saturate your mind with the idea of that image you plant the image in your mind and then you repeat that image and you revisit that image all the time until you develop a burning desire to possess that amount of money. And it occurred to me when I was reminded of that incident with Bob Proctor that I've been doing things the wrong way when it comes to health and weight loss. I haven't been putting first things first. The first thing in any kind of conscious creation is get the image, plant the image. In my case, because I believe in God, you say the prayer. God, I need your assistance. I need the strength and direction to do the right things and make the right lifestyle changes to bring about the result that I'm looking for. And I'm asking you for your help. I'm asking you for guidance. And that was the epiphany I had when I made that decision to get to 185 and I decided to do things differently. And then I was reminded of that incident. All those times before that I tried to lose weight, I hadn't put first things first. I was doing it from the outside in and not from the inside out. Now, this program that I'm putting together for myself and hopefully for lots of other people, when I get the results that I expect to get, um, I'm going to have a whole program together to show people how to manifest that weight loss goal, that health goal from the inside out. That's the whole basis of this. Um, one of the other things I tell people in goal achieving, I've been uh, coaching goal achieving classes since 2008 when I was certified to be a life success consultant. And one of the things I tell people is don't go blabbing your uh, goal to everybody. Just do the, take the action steps necessary. Be humble about it. Just keep going and uh, do little things. Get a little bit better each day. Keep the goal ever in mind. Develop a burning desire to achieve it and, and take the appropriate action steps that you get inspired to do, to, uh, to take in direct response to the thoughts you're thinking. Um, so I wasn't going to share this goal. I was going to keep that goal to myself, but I... Along the way, I joined a mastermind group uh, called the Mountaintop Mastermind. It's led by Jake Ballantyne. And uh, when I told Jake my idea about developing a, a program and uh, writing a book called Think and Grow Thin, he said, 
he thought it was a great idea. And he said, you have to start documenting this and put it on YouTube and give people the lessons that you're learning. You could help a lot of people with this. Uh, and I, you know, I'd never really thought about it that way. And uh, I think he's right. You know, by putting these videos out, my thought is twofold. One, I'm going to give people what I've been doing and, and share the distinctions and the personal development stuff that I'm bringing together, all with the purpose of meeting this goal. So I'm taking books that I read 25 years ago, and I'm going through them, and I'm taking bits and pieces of information and assembling this program and directing these concepts and these ideas and these techniques and these principles directly to a health goal, to a weight loss goal. And I intend to do that throughout this whole process and until I reach my ideal weight. And hopefully as I journey and I put these videos out there, um, there'll be some people who will see the videos and uh, will decide to do some of the stuff themselves to live from the inside out rather than uh, the abject failure of our weight loss industry where 99% of people I'm told who lose weight on a diet will eventually put the weight back on and then some. That is a miserable failure rate. And it's because we haven't put first things first. We're going from the outside in and not the inside out. And I'm gonna show people how to manifest this goal from the inside out. I've been weighing myself once a month. I've been on this, uh, this program since March 15th. And uh, the most recent weigh-in was on September 1st. And I weighed 295 pounds. So to date, I've lost 55 pounds. And I expect that when I step on the scale on October 1st, I'm weighing myself once a month, that I will be below 290 pounds for the first time probably in 30 years. And I do expect to reach my ideal weight of 185 pounds. So I'm putting these videos up there for two reasons, like I mentioned. Number one, to share some distinctions and hope that I can help other people who have been dealing with the confusion and the frustration of, of being obese and not knowing what to do and where to turn and just being totally frustrated. Uh, hopefully I can get some distinctions to those people and help them on their journey. And secondly, this is a great way for me to hold myself accountable for uh, to a larger audience. So I, I plan to put these videos out there and allow people to share the journey and make myself accountable to people and uh, hopefully do some good teaching along the way. And when I'm to my ideal weight, I will have a program that I'm gonna offer to the general public and I'm, I'm excited about that. I, I think I think I'm onto something here and I, I hope uh, to, uh, to to be sharing these uh, this program with people uh, probably within a couple of years, maybe less. So uh, this is video number one. As I mentioned, my name is Fred Ford, uh, also known as Our Daily Fred. I write a newsletter that comes out five days a week, six o'clock Eastern time. It's free of charge. It's got some great information that are from some of the books that I've studied on personal development and visualization and spirituality. And along with the, the excerpt that I share, I also share my thoughts on that, which I call my Freditorial. And I get a lot of good feedback from it. So if you're interested in uh, getting the newsletter, uh, send me an email at fred at ourdailyfred.net. That's fred at ourdailyfred.net. And uh, I'll get you signed up and uh, you'll start receiving it the next day. And uh, if you like this video, please uh, feel free to share it with other people. I'll leave a comment and uh, we'll see you next time on uh, my journey to think and grow thin.